On a mechanical system, this is not an easy thing to, to simulate. What we've come up with with these pressure limiting valves, these distribution valves, whatever you want to call them, is we've come up with a way to, go, to have one ratio up to a certain point, and then they change and they go to another ratio somewhere else. And this is called the knee point. That's where things change. This is the Willwood proportioning valve. This is a very common one. And again, as I said, it's really a pressure regulator, but when you compare it, the front to rear pressure, you are working on proportioning. So this is what they look like exploded. A little spring in here and basically two pistons. And what happens is most of the time when you're driving around and you're not putting much pressure through the brakes, these two are stuck together and they're held in place with the spring. Now the diameter of this part of the piston, which is the output, is the same as this part, which means that basically the pressure on this side is equal to the pressure on that side. Once you get above a certain input pressure on this thing, you basically, you pop that spring open. You overcome the preload on the spring and uh, you will open things up and all of a sudden you've got a smaller diameter on that thing. And now all of a sudden, thanks to the magic of hydraulics, you're putting a certain amount of pressure on a small area. That means a lower pressure on a large area. So as your pressure comes in here, it effectively is uh, multiplied by a number less than one. It's brought down and you end up with a smaller percentage of the pressure coming out. Takes a little while to get your head around this sometimes, but that is effectively what's going on here. It's got two different pressure ratios, basically in versus out, uh, depending on whether you have overcome the spring and separated these two or not. Yeah.